The simplicity and adaptability of the WordPress software system is probably best demonstrated with the plugin. Each plugin you install on your blog increases its adaptability and its features, and you can pick and choose the plugins you wish to install on individual blogs. This video will walk you through the process of installing and activating plugins. We'll start by using an FTP program to uh, log into the server where our domain is hosted. You can use the uh, file manager in cPanel or an FTP program. I prefer using FTP uh, in, in my particular opinion it's just more adaptable. This particular blog is loaded uh, into a directory on one of my domains. We'll log into the domain first. Once we're logged in, we'll double click on the public HTML and we'll search for the directory that the blog is in. In this case, it's a directory called Laptops. Once in the directory, we'll look for the wp-content folder. Double click on it. And in here, we'll double click on the plugins folder. Next, we'll locate uh, on our computer the folder where we have uh, stored our plugins. Now, you'll notice in our forum a zip file you can download that has a quite a collection of plugins that you can choose uh, to upload to individual blogs. In this folder, you'll see there's in excess of uh, probably 20 uh, plugins here. You can choose any of these to load onto your uh, blog. Now, there's a couple that you'll find are automatically included in WordPress when you when you do your original installation. So I'm just going to go over. I won't upload all of these. I'm just going to upload a couple of them. Uh, the first thing I want to point out is what you want to make sure before you upload any of these is make sure that the uh, that the plugin is not included inside a separate directory. In other words, if I go down to the deal.com and double click on it, it automatically opens up the features uh, of that plugin. So I know that that one would have been all right to upload that way. Let me see if I can find one that uh, is included in a folder. This is an example here, the Max Blog Press plugin. If I double click this, you'll notice that this is the folder that actually contains that plugin. This is what you want to upload. Had you uploaded it in the original uh, condition there, then the plugin would be included in a separate directory and, and you wouldn't find it in your blog. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this one. As you upload these, make sure you have your FTP program set on automatic. And we'll let that one transfer. Now we'll go back and find another one. We'll just take a couple of these and upload them just to give the idea. We're not going to spend too much time on this, but as you can see, you can pick and choose the plugins that you wish to have on your individual blog. If you're going to use AdSense on your blog, uh, then you'll surely want to get the AdSense Deluxe plugin, and we'll get that one next. Okay, that should give us a pretty uh, good selection of uh, plugins to work with. So the, our, our next task now is to log into the administration area of our blog and activate these plugins.
This is a brand new blog. I still have a lot of work to do on it yet. Some features you can see that I've added already though are across the top is a Stripe ad that has a link on it that will take them to uh, another web page and you'll see that I have also added some eBay uh, ads to my post here. Uh, just some things I've been doing to uh, demonstrate the use of some of these features. And these are all items that we'll cover in future videos. And of course, we're, we're talking about these in length in our live training. So what we want to do now is, is log in. And if you have Meta installed on your blog, you can go down and simply click on Log In. Log into the admin area. And once in the admin area, you'll find yourself at the dashboard. You'll find that the uh, dashboard uh, in WordPress is one of the best features. It gives you almost complete control over the functions of your, of your blog. In the dashboard, we'll click on Plugins, and now we'll look for the plugins that we've just loaded. And the first thing you'll notice is that plugins that are active are in green, and ones that are, are inactive are in gray. I want to point out a very uh, uh, important plugin. This is a default plugin that comes with the WordPress program. In other words, whenever you upload it, this one will be included. It's called the uh, AXMET, A-K-I-S-M-E-T. Uh, this one will help you to uh, 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 keep from getting spam to your blog. And uh, there's a procedure you have to use to set it up. Uh, that is, you have to go and open up an account at WordPress. It's a free account and get an API number. Uh, in another video, we'll show you exactly how to do that and uh, then activate this one. So let's look at the blogs we've just, or I'm sorry, the, the uh, plugins we've just uploaded. And all we need to do is click on activate. And uh, if all goes well, it'll turn into green. Let's go down. I think we've got another one down here. Okay, and that activates uh, the plugins for us. Some of the plugins will require uh, uh, further modification, and we'll go over in these in uh, more detail, uh, not only in our live training, but of course we'll have videos to cover those uh, uh, also. There's one more item I, I think maybe I should mention on this video. I want to try to keep these videos short, and that is if you don't have the meta uh, activated, on your blog where you have the automatic site admin login then in order to log in your admin you simply add the extension WP hyphen ADMIN and that will take you to the admin login where you'll use your username and password to log in and that's all there is to it